Countries in the Middle East and Central Asia responded to the COVID-19 pandemic with swift and stringent measures to mitigate its spread and impact, but they continue to face uncertain and difficult environment. The pandemic may inflict a deeper economic impact than previous recessions, and deficits in some countries may reach levels not seen in 20 years. Countries have stepped in with unprecedented policies to cushion economic costs of the pandemic, assisting households and businesses, and using monetary policy to support liquidity and aid the recovery. As a result, real GDP growth for the Middle East and North Africa region is projected to fall by 5% in 2020 after growing by 0.8% in 2019. Our regional economic outlook finds MENA oil exporters continue to feel the impact of the oil shock, as well as lockdowns, while for MENA oil importing countries, the benefit from lower oil price are being offset mostly by hampered trade, tourism, and remittances. The Caucasus and Central Asia region is also beset by negative growth, with a projected 2.1% contraction driven by weakness among oil importers, a sizable downturn after a strong year in 2019 when the region's real GDP grew by 4.8%. Revenues have declined sharply in the region, particularly in the oil exporting countries, where a 224 billion revenue shortfall is expected this year, equivalent to more than 8% of their projected GDP. Accordingly, in some countries, deficits are expected to reach levels not seen in 20 years. The pandemic may inflict a deeper economic impact than previous recessions. Exposure in the hard-hit services sector could reduce GDP and employment, while poverty could rise by more than 3.5% in 2020 if remittances do not rebound. While the priority remains protecting lives and livelihoods, countries should also begin working toward building economies for the post-pandemic world. Minimizing the lasting scars of the crisis and broadening the coverage and targeting of social safety nets will be vital. Strengthening fiscal institutions such as tax administration or budget and procurement processes could help address the fiscal challenges that have arisen. Expanding fiscal space by, for instance, making tax systems more progressive and strengthening tax compliance will also be critical. Central to any future-oriented economic strategy will be invested in green, and climate resilient technology, which will also create new jobs. Finally, policymakers must not lose sight of the importance of curbing corruption. Good governance will be critical to earning the people's trust and ensuring effective reform implementation. The IMF remains committed to helping the region during this crisis, providing nearly 17 billion in new financing this year, including 6 billion in emergency support to 10 countries.